Hello everybody, how's it going? Guess who is back? Ore yo yakusanjo, I have finally arrived. Once again. I am back. It is I, Nines Vox. After all this time, guess who is back once again? Yeah, uh, according to Twitch, it's been 20 days since I streamed last, so, um... Sorry about that. That's my bad. It, it's been... It has been... Almost three weeks since I streamed last. I'm sorry. I've been on an impromptu hiatus accidentally just because I've got things going on and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to reflow my whole schedule so I can actually, like, spend time doing the things that I like doing uh, and also do things that I have to do, you know, to uh, make money and all that stuff. Uh, I have a job, of course, that is not streaming. Water here, trying to stay hydrated. Uh, yeah, I have a job. Uh, so I'm trying to um, find ways to actually flow my time so that I can spend as much time doing what I want to do, you know, uh, drawing, making art, all that stuff, streaming, etc. Uh, working on fine-tuning my VTuber skills, um, both on the creation and uh, streaming side of things. Uh, I want to try to learn how to use Live2D a little bit better than I know how to do it already. See, I made this. I made this. This is cool, right? I made this. I want to know how to do it better. So I'm trying to teach myself how to do more in that and, you know, learn how to do more of that stuff. So I'm trying to change the way that I approach scheduling things in my day. And that has meant that I've had to sort of take a break from streaming for a little while. But I am back, hopefully. I'm, I'm hopefully back for quite some time now. Uh, so, yeah. Weathering Waves. When last we played, we were here in this desolate abandoned hello there lag i certainly do love input lag and lag of all kinds uh we were in this abandoned village here we found this tacit discord that seems to be formerly human or it seems to have absorbed the memories of a human that it killed or something like that i can't remember specifically i think it was absorbed the memories of a human that it killed but yeah uh, so, the tacit discords are evolving, and we might eventually be meeting one that is, like, super evolved. Uh, so yeah, we are going to investigate the source of strange noises when last we left off. Um, so let's get to it. I think it's been so long since I've played that there's a new banner on now. Uh, so let's see about that, because I know that there's stuff. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Sanha. Uh, right. Yinlin. Yes. <clears throat> no comment. <laughs> Hello there. All right. Uh, let's see. All this compensation. Let's just get as much stuff as we can. Well, I mean, if you're going to give me a free roll, uh, I'll... Uh, I think I will. Let's go. Do I not ha Oh, you gave me the basic thing. Okay, I see. Never mind. Um, weapons. We'll save those for later, actually. Never mind. Never mind. Not going to do that right now. Uh, let's get on with the story. Let's investigate the weird noises. I didn't hear any weird noises earlier, but... Let's go. Alright. Huh? Hmm? A cat. Okay. <laughs> What's a cat doing here? Oh. Well. Guess you won't need my self-introduction. <laughs> oh, I spent... You spent so much time on this. Is this Scar? The Scar guy that was talked about before? Is this Mr. Long Live the King here? Okay, that was actually a pretty cool intro. <laughs> he knows how to make an entrance at the very least. I can appreciate that in a villain. Your scar? I forget how this guy's voice sounds. If you need to hear it from me, then yes, I am Scar. <laughs> Cruel and twisted maniac. Uh, where's Yang Yang? We deserve a meeting free of such disturbances, don't you yeah. agree? That's an insult. Uh, sure, why not? She's gonna sway your judgment. What's that supposed to mean? Don't worry. I don't plan to make you hate me just yet. She is safe now. 
Well, okay. let's just enjoy our time together for the moment. Forget about that irrelevant person, will you? I have a lot to share with you. Okay, to begin then. with, I heard you've lost your memories. How do you know? So, it's true. Yeah, yes. What is that, is that not sense, obvious? Given how fragile you were when you woke up, or I would have questioned the authenticity of those rumors. Okay, so I really was absolutely a badass in uh, before I lost my memories, huh? So you noticed? Oh, I am flattered. Alrighty. No need to be so on edge. By now, you should have realized I'm just one of the onlookers. But okay. out of all the onlookers. I'm the only one who came forward to meet you with absolute honesty. Absolute Before you honesty, knew anything huh. about this world, you were already the center of conflict. Is that so? You what conflict are, are you talking about? You are the unknown variable we've been waiting for. Forces have been fighting for possession over you. Okay. From the moment you opened your eyes, everyone you've met, including that girl you care so much about, they all knew how valuable you are. The world is a cruel place. You are a living, breathing person, but you're just a pawn to many. What, you too, I assume, since you said forces? Not exactly discounting yourself there, huh, Scar? That's why I'm here. Because I see you as a dear friend, and okay, I never want mind. to tell you <laughs> the truth. I am so, so sorry for everything you're about to face. <laughs> I always love it when a villain does that, where they're like, Man, you're about to go through some shit. I am so sorry. <laughs> it's like, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to beat you up now, or something like that. <laughs> but it's always funny when they do that. Sometimes. Truth hurts sometimes. As if you were any different. You're just trying to make me join your side. You could say I'm looking forward to your choice. Okay. My goal is simple. I just want to deepen our mutual understanding, nothing more. Okay. What mutual understanding are you talking about? Come on. Observe the surroundings a little more and tell me what you see. I mean, I see a destroyed village. What else is there to see? As you learn more about this world, I like this your true desires got here. will surface. It's actually pretty cool. And our little game will become even more entertaining. Even more entertaining. This guy's going to be fun to try to do that, voices for. I this is going to be fun. I don't want anyone to disturb my precious alone time with you. That's all. Mm-hmm. What did the Fractidus do to this village? Ah, uh, why do you have to assume we are the culprits? <laughs> it's like, man, we destroy a lot of things, but this one, not us. <laughs> Maybe you should be asking me what actually happened here. I won't tell you everything just yet. That's too boring. As I said, why don't He's you an entertaining take a look villain. I like this guy. He's funny. For yourself. He's funny. See, I love an entertaining villain like this. He's he, so go ahead. he's just a funny guy. He's just what a funny fella. Uh, strange test at Discord. Bravo! Didn't think you'd catch on to that. What, the thing that we spent like five minutes talking about with Yanya? Yan? Didn't think I'd remember what is that. What's the conclusion you've drawn? Uh, jack shit. <laughs> the villagers killed each other. I see you don't really trust those villagers. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, so they were right about you. You are indeed quite exceptional. Thank you? I like it. Your keen observation, precise judgment, and accurate understanding of human nature. Let me give you a couple more tips. Mm-hmm. The truth is far more complicated than you think. Okay. First, who are the players in our tale? 
an innocent girl, a revered leader, and a flock of simple villagers. Next, what makes up our main plot? Murder. False devotion, fleeting kindness, collective deceit, senseless killings, and the one vulnerable soul pushed onto a path of destruction by the masses. This guy's gone off the deep end all of a sudden after being, you know, entertainingly villainous. Now all of a sudden he's screaming and raving mad. Now, Rover, the story is yours to spin. Okay. I'm eager to hear your version after you've learned more. All right, then. This guy's got a really cool design. Did not mean to do that. This guy has a really cool design. Hang on a second. I mean, okay, everything except, like, the Jacko-style, like, bell-bottoms. Everything else is cool. The boots are cool. The, uh... Hang on. The armor is cool. The knives there. The gloves with the fingers that fade to the, uh, sharp red claws. Fashionable asymmetry there. The hair with the, uh... The dyed red, like, underside. Hell, this design is badass. I like this. The boots... The trench coat? The, uh, cords? Stopping to relax once in a the while. The cables? Serves for a stronger and the messenger bag. The world. Man, the character designs in this game are so cool. I love the character designs in this. They're so good. They're so good. Like that, like this. This guy. Her. Dude, everybody has such cool character designs. Everybody's... Everybody's outfits are really, really good. Oh, wait. There's optional dialogue from Scar. <sighs> Hang on a minute. You're going to tell me to be prepared? Are your teeth and ambitions bared? Be prepared? Huh? What is it? Are you back for some chit chat? Need another hint. I see. So <laughs> you want to cheat, huh? <laughs> this guy's hilarious. A clever move, unbound by convention. I like it. But I'm not telling mm. you more. Not yet. Wouldn't want our first conversation to become a boring exchange of words, just parroting each other's lines. Fair enough, honestly. You don't want to disappoint me so soon, Rover. Wait, I can just jump him? <laughs> I can just jump him here and now? Hang on a minute. <laughs> Come on. No need to get so worked up. I see you're itching for a fight. But our game is over He seems scared for yet. a second there. Judging by that... <gasps> Strike that now gasp. and risk being crippled. And what a shame it would be to miss out on these crucial clues right in front of you. Hmm. After all this effort, do you truly want to throw it all away? Wait. Okay, so at some point we're going to fight him. This is what this means. So this just skips the entire thing. I'll go look for the clues because I don't want to miss lore. But the fact is we're, we're in a very wide open arena looking place right now. And there is an option to just attack him. Which means we are going to fight him at some point, just not yet. Okay, strange tacit discord. Why is this still lagging? Come on, work with me here. Thank you. Investigate. A crumpled page from a children's book rests on a torn piece of diary paper with childish handwriting. Read the diary. Hi, I'm blank. I found a new home, and the nice uncle gave, uh, the nice uncle, like, gave me this, hmm, they gave me this, uh, like, cool new book uh, to write in. Our old home was scared by monsters, so we went on a super long journey to find this new place. I asked when mommy and daddy will catch up with me, and uncle said really soon. Can't wait for them to join us here. This new place is so sunny and has a huge tree that grows peaches. Not many people from here go to the big city, though. I just want mommy and daddy to find me too quick. 12.5. Okay, December 5th. Uh, today it's my birthday. Everyone is being really nice, saying I'm their lucky charm because I can keep those mean monsters away. I'm really happy and everyone likes me lots. We had cake and noodles and I got presents too. It's been forever since I saw Mommy and Daddy though. Hope they will come back. Will they come back? Whoa. Okay. That's a shift in dialogue. Hang on. 03.12. So, March 12th? March 12th. January, February, March 12th. 
I'm an idiot when it comes to dates sometimes. <laughs> uh, December 5th. December 05. This marks my fourth birthday here, and our village head made it official I'm his daughter now. But before that, everyone was already taking care of me and share and with me delicious meals. My father told me I'm a child of the Chichi village, and I should consider myself lucky. I feel really fortunate to be loved by so many people. Even though my powers are still small, I'll do my best to continue protecting the village from being invaded by tacit discords. Okay. So. Grammatical mistakes. Text abbreviations. Grammatical mistakes. Text abbreviations. Very, very precise, proper speech. Uh, not proper, but very, very uh, meticulous wording. Being very precise and very uh, academic sounding here. Okay, so something happened to the kid that's the quote-unquote chosen one or guardian here. Our story begins here. Yeah, so there was a guardian figure that somehow got incarnated into one of the kids, maybe? Sort of like hijacked their body or something? Once like upon a time, him? in a peaceful village, lived a flock of carefree lambs. In the day, they toiled for food. And when evening fell, they sought refuge from the looming threat of wolves. Quite the storyteller, aren't Fables. you? Fables. Stories told and retold through the ages. The ancient art of conveying hidden truths through fiction. Fair enough. But they always draw from real life, don't they? I guess so, yeah. The same story gets told by many. And each person brings their own spin. Their own focus. Whatever you learn from it is just one of countless different interpretations. Okay. Like us now. Caught in a carefully crafted plotline, a scheme I had no hand in. This village marks the beginning of my story with Jinjo. <laughs> so right, that then. magistrate led you here to meet me. Ha. <sighs> Such a clever move on her part. Okay. Follow the tacit discord to find more clues. Hello. Will the game please stop lagging? I want to actually play it. Please, work with me here. I see that ping. Don't fool me. Don't try to fool me. I can see the ping. I can <gasps> see it spiking. Stop. Work with me here, please. Come on, damn you. Okay. The tree branches are loaded with paper slips, each containing someone's wish. The words on most of the notes are soaked and no longer legible. Read the paper slips. Uh, will this really work? If it does, I wish I could stand up again. I want money. I want enough money to last a lifetime. Amazing. Thank you, Lord Blank. My legs have truly healed. Uh, no. Mother just died and left me some money, but I don't want my wish to come true with this blank. I want my mother back. I want blank back. Strange. It did make me stronger, but lately I seem to be getting weak again, and I can't blank my body without blank. Is it because I haven't sacrificed enough blank? Blank, please. Please don't take away my wish. I'll give you anything. Is this blank really all we blank wanted? Huh. Okay. So it's like a monkey's paw situation, where they got their wish, but not in the way they, not in the way they imagined it. Okay. Another crumpled page f from a children's book, half buried in the mud. One day, a shepherd visited the village. The shepherd brought them promises of abundance and protection. The lambs, drawn in by his words, soon lived in comfort and security. Is that the end of your story? No. Quite the opposite. Yeah, figures. The shepherd's Go arrival figure. is only the beginning. With a wave of his hand, the shepherd could grant their every wish. His flock obeyed, bowing their heads, pleading for better food and shelter. Mm -hmm. They no longer had to struggle for survival, as their once meager lives were replaced with endless luxury. The flock worshipped their shepherd-turned-god, praising him and holding him in the highest regard. What's wrong? 
Does my story make you uncomfortable? I mean, it's starting to get a little ominous, but maybe that's just the drawing. Imagine you were one of those lambs, facing irresistible temptation and pressure from your peers. Wouldn't you bow down and beg for food from your master? We were all created equal. There should be no hierarchy. That's what the dialogue says there. Oh, I agree. So we agree already. So we agree already, yeah. You are right. But the world we live in falls short of our ideals. The shepherd still reigns, and the lambs have grown complacent. Okay. It's up to the two of us to make that ideal world a reality. Okay, so both of us want sort of a more equal world, except he gets it through violence. Is that our difference here? Neat. Okay, flash of light. Come on. I take three steps and it starts lagging again. Come on now. Every time I press a new button, it lags again. I'll have to fix that sometime. As much as I don't want to, I might have to drop the uh, quality of, of, of the game. Video quality's already been lowered enough so that I don't get any frame drops. Uh, so far, I've gotten none in the first 20 minutes here. A crumpled page from a children's book silently resting on the ground. The lambs reveled in endless bonfire parties, celebrating their new god every night. Except the one little black lamb. As each night passed, it was the only one to notice how its flock was dwindling away. Rover, do you think someone would give you what you want without taking anything from you? I believe in quid pro quo. <laughs> I once believed that too. Thought as long as I paid a high enough price, I could get my desired outcome. But true hmm. equality is scarce. Always has been. The hmm. world was never a fair place. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, the world is unfair, but you don't go out slaughtering people because of it. To receive equal retribution, one must give more and more and more. When every wish comes with a hefty price, People weigh their options carefully. When they can make someone else bear the price, they all rush to make more wishes. They don't consider they too may one day pay for another's selfish desire. Hmm. Funny, isn't it? Oh, I see how this works. So the wishes they made took another villager as sacrifice. So... Eventually, everybody got sacrificed because someone kept making slightly too many wishes. Hello there. Hi. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm... So far, I haven't done any fighting. I, I, I've just been listening to um, this guy monologue from all the way over there, somehow. He's, he's just been sort of talking at me this entire time. I haven't really been contributing a lot to this discussion, but... Um, He's been doing his thing. He's just been chilling over there. Um, and telling us the story of exactly what happened in this village here. Uh, so far, it's looking like everybody got sacrificed because uh, they were used as fuel for uh, wish granting. Uh, but, uh, yeah. And I've not been doing any fights. Um, the only thing I've been fighting is my own computer. <laughs> That's the only thing that I've been fighting. All right. You find some markings on the walls. As you lean in closer to look, you notice some faint markings on the wall. Words like monster, witch, banish her, and all her fault are written thickly on the wall. A crumpled page from a children's book silently resting on the ground. Later, the shepherd openly blamed the black lamb for the flock's decline. Mm-hmm. Lag spikes that bad again? Yes. Yes, they have been. <laughs> they have been. Uh, let's see. For a second, it was like every time I pressed a new button, it, like, it would, like, immediately, like, freeze the game. 
It's sort of stopped doing that now, but it'll come back eventually. I know it will. <laughs> On the next day, the white lambs welcomed the rising sun as usual. But the black lamb was nowhere to be found. Hmm. The shepherd introduced an unspoken rule to this village. One that our black lamb violated by telling the truth. Okay. Suddenly, the once doting god stopped fulfilling wishes because no more sacrifices were being made. Mm -hmm. After witnessing the black lamb's actions and hearing from their almighty shepherd, what do you suppose the white lambs did? Immediately began making sacrifices again because the story is an allegory for the village and there's no one else here. Ah, those oblivious lambs. Little did they know the most fearsome demon was right under their noses. Whenever I close that, it immediately flashbangs me. <laughs> All right. You see what I mean? You see what I mean here? You see what I mean? You saw that turn red in the top right corner. <laughs> Relate to that? Kind of scared it'll cause my computer to crash when I play Genshin during- Oh. I just remembered that I said that I would play Genshin on stream when Natland comes out. Oh no. <laughs> I need to figure out how to make it work before then. Oh no. No. <laughs> okay. See, I could do a really easy thing and go in here and um, drop this down lower, but I don't want to. I don't want to. Wait. I can turn the frame rate down. I can turn the frame rate down. Okay, let's drop that to 45 FPS for the time being. Let's see if that helps. Let's see if that helps. Okay, no visible difference. And hey, we're not lagging anymore. Look at that, drop the frame rate by 15. All right, Scar, here's what I think happened. This is like Danganronpa where it's like, all right, done. here's the story of you the case. let any detail slip. Now, I wonder, what is your takeaway from this story? It's an allegory for what happened here in the village. Look at this man's design. This is just really cool. This guy's amazing. <laughs> Yours is already as low as it can get without looking like trash. Yikes. Answer me and I'll reveal the truth of what happened. Who was the real culprit behind the diminishing number of lambs? It wasn't the shepherd. Well... Technically it was, but it was technically the townspeople. Brilliant answer. You saw past the obvious. Because there wouldn't be sacrifices without the townspeople making them. The true culprit was not the shepherd, but the white lambs who chose to follow his rules. They knew that sacrifices were being made and thus and yet still continued to make sacrifices. So. The shepherd never forced them into anything. He merely presented a choice, a possibility. Hmm. No one would have been killed if they simply refrained from making those wishes. Their greed and indifference were the cause of it all. Mm -hmm. Now, my second question. What price did the lambs pay for their wishes? I mean, technically it wasn't their lives, it was someone else's lives. They didn't pay everything they owned, so they must process have of poured elimination. their sincerity into it, no doubt. But that's not much of a price. Is here's my final question. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Don't. What is the truth you've uncovered? Hmm. I don't think it'll change what happens depending on what answer I give, but like, there's a part of me that's like, ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a bad grade in Scar's pop quiz. <laughs> so I don't want to answer incorrectly. Yes, he's going to fight me anyway, but uh, <laughs> I guarantee this man's going to try to fight me anyway, but uh, let's see. Uh, the answer shepherd was a. granting wishes by sacrificing the lives of lambs. The flock found out the truth, but chose to be his accomplices and they willingly offered the black lamb as another sacrifice. <laughs> That's right! Okay, good. We got a good grade on Scar's quiz. <laughs> Little lambs cowered and huddled in their village, terrified of the relentless wolf packs. 
until a shepherd arrived, bearing the gift of wishes and providing shelter and sustenance. Mm -hmm. Slowly, the shepherd gained control over the flock, and the lambs lived contented lives. But this is not the end of our story. Mm -hmm. The shepherd found the solitary black oh, I lamb. See. In I was wondering what this was and on his eyes. But that's that's Scar. That's supposed to be Scar's backstory. Exchange, this is Scar's backstory, isn't it? Of its companions as a sacrifice. The black lamb refused, and it was shunned by its flock, left without shelter or sustenance. Okay, so Scar. After the black I lamb's see. exile, I forgot the what was on the eyes. Continued to like, I was curious about it, but it's Scar. This is Scar's the shepherd backstory. Then now. blamed the black lamb for breaking the rules and withheld his wish granting power as punishment. What's with the slot machine music in the background? <laughs> From the very beginning, Lucky the sevens. lambs knew the risk of making wishes. They too could become sacrifices for those of others. But they always believed it wouldn't be them. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, some lambs reasoned that since they had already risked being sacrificed for someone else's wish, it was then only fair to pass on that risk for a chance at fulfilling their own desires. And so they continued to play the game. I see. They all knew the consequences, but chose to remain silent. Fearful, yet greedy, they followed the shepherd's orders and made wishes again and again. Until one day, a brave black lamb spoke up, shattering the flock's facade, their illusion of a peaceful and happy life. Okay. And you see, Rover, this is an allegory for society. Away, and that of the shepherd's greedy pursuit, sparking hatred in their hearts. Suddenly, they could no longer ignore the blood and ashes of past sacrifices littering That was the overwhelming for a second there. <laughs> okay. So you see, Rover, this is an allegory for our society and like the world story, at large. Rover? Uh, pretty cool. Pretty creepy. What really happened here? I suppose you already have it figured out? Yeah, more or less. The black this is what happened to you. Who rebelled against the rules, and the white lambs who succumbed to their greed. The innocent maiden sacrificed, and the villagers who turned on each other in a ruthless frenzy. They had it coming. All the shepherd had to do was execute the rebel. That's how he kept the flock in check and maintained the status quo. Mm-hmm. Is that why you became a shepherd yourself? Fun answer, but no. Not even close. <laughs> Funny. Funny you should think that. I was never the shepherd. Never will be. You and I, we are the black lamb. The one who breaks the rules. <laughs> this, okay, this feels like if, if, if Maxor made a video about this, he would definitely make some sort of Sigma joke here. <laughs> you and I, Rover, we are Sigmas. <laughs> <laughs> See, does that not sound like a Maxor bit right there? <laughs> he who fights too long against dragons becomes a dragon himself. <laughs> does that not seem like a joke that I can make? Like an absolute brain rot joke here? Froze there for a second? Uh, yeah. Does this not seem like you can make a brain rot joke out of this scene? <laughs> this really does seem like you could make some sort of shitty joke like that. Who fights too long against dragons becomes a dragon himself. <laughs> Interesting, Rover. <laughs> I'm liking you more and more. Dr he who fights too long against dragons, Rover, dragging these nuts across your face. 
or something like that. <laughs> All right, this guy's funny. Well then, let's see if this black lamb is going to end up like you say. What, are you going to jump me now? Is it taking you this long to finally get to it? Yes? No? Maybe? What's it gonna be, boss man? Ooh! Hit a domain expansion on us, huh? The Lament. Lament refers to, un er, refers to the ongoing catastrophic events on Solaris 3. Since the first onset of the first Lament, the cycle of destruction has persisted relentlessly. Tied to devastation remains ceaseless with no signs of relenting. How many times do you, do you need to use the word relent? Lament, relent, relentlessly, no signs of relenting, remain ceaseless. All right. Scar headed domain expansion. <laughs> domain expansion, this fucking playing card. Look at my cool Yu-Gi-Oh card, Rover. I pulled this one from a pack. <laughs> It's got foil and everything. Welcome to the realm of endless chaos. Now is your time to think, Rover. What is the <laughs> right path to take? Uh, all right. Actually, no, a uh, better joke that I actually know how to make is, is Magic the Gathering. These are all the common cards I pulled, Rover. They're trash. But you saw that. You saw the one rare foil that I got from... <laughs> the one rare foil I got from pulling from Pax. Scar, that's just a land card. <laughs> that's a simple... Scar, that's a basic land. It's a basic land, but it's foil, Rover. You know what I mean, don't you? No the fuck I don't. <laughs> Oh, you found us already. Scar, there is one singular path to take. Are you really that surprised? Elysium? I thought you said Land of Chaos Shake or something. Shake and Sheffer, blink an eye. A flock of lambs comes passing by. Fleece of white, black, and red. Who's the sweetest? Watch out, my dear. Your pioneers are lying at your feet. Don't look back. Join them on this right path. And I, uh-uh-uh, don't rush. One slip and you'll shatter to pieces. Man, shut up. Disperse. Ha. Why is my ping super high again? Ha. Such speed. That was Such easy. brutality! <laughs> Can't you see? We are kindred spirits after all. Get the Virgil combo Don't on that man. Be so quick to deny it. By the power of rare foils, I will create a portal to Tell another me. dimension. What is this? The final Do you shape? Want to be the rule setting shepherd. Or the rule-breaking black lad. If a sane Hang person on, manages to survive in a realm of lunatics, would you call them the last one of reason? Or the sole apostle? Think about it. The shepherd is not the preordained embodiment of truth. Once he is gone for good, Did he get a parry? The lab can Did he just get a parry on the it? Of its herd. Then, eventually, there will be none left to be victims or aggressors! I'm sorry, was his argument really just no one will suffer if there's no one around to suffer? I might have misheard that because I was focusing more on the fight rather than, than listening. I think I misheard what he was saying, but... I don't know. He, he made some kind of weird point that I can't quite remember. Listen to this boss theme! Listen to this boss theme. That's cool. Oh. I just accidentally parried him by throwing my sword. <laughs> by randomly throwing my sword. Hello. Ugh, such a Domain mess. expansion. That was... That was fun. I do love these boss fights. They're fun. They're really good. That was a little too easy 
dare I say? That was a tiny, teensy bit too easy? Just a little? I'd, I don't know, that was just a little, tiny, teensy bit too easy. I don't know what to say about that. I don't, I don't know what to say other than that was a bit too easy. Oh well. Guess I'm just too good at the game. <laughs> Guess I'm just too good at this, even though I haven't played all that much. You know what I'm not beating, though? The loading screens. That's what I'm not beating. <laughs> I'm not winning against these. Under any circumstances, I, I'm not winning against these loading screens. <laughs> Alright. Well, on these loading screens, I'm going to do my Duolingo real quick. See, if... Like, if I look... Or, uh, no, not, not look. Like, if I get too good at a game... One time, I want to try just standing there and doing, like, Duolingo while I fight a boss. <laughs> Would that not be really funny? Just getting my, uh, Duolingo in, my, uh, like, Japanese practice in while fighting this boss. <laughs> Count the strikes. Brother? Count the amount of times I Brother? took damage. Hello there. I'm back. Yang Yang. Oh, speaking of boss I fights. I shattered Scar's illusion. That should have injured him. Mm -hmm. Oh, should I thank you for showing me mercy? He's about to hit us with another uh, rare, <laughs> with another rail foil, uh, rare foil card. This one though works in Commander. Stay away from him. This card works in Commander decks, Rover. Who are you? You aren't, uh, Yunli, or whoever that was. Who are you? Uh, didn't you promise to leave me some alone time with Rover? With one <laughs> condition. I do hope you haven't let that slip from your mind. Don't let your improvisation trouble others. Ah, we finally have a person with an actual accent instead of <laughs> hiding a British Look one. Look at you, rushing in to protect your precious, perfect movement. No worries. I know all the do's and don'ts. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Rover, it seems our happy little date must come to an end. But sometime, Rover. Bring your cards and we will have a proper duel. Commander, 40, uh, 40 life. But don't forget my Band cards allowed. reminders. Let me know what you choose. An unexpected gift? An honest and open exchange, or a highly risky gamble? Banned cards will be allowed in our fight, Rover. The choice <laughs> is yours. I know how smart you are. You won't make a hasty decision. You won't make a hasty decision, and when you bring your cards, you'd better not be playing a blue deck. I swear to God, Rover, if you play mono blue with any counter spells, I will just kill you. We'll meet again. I will just fight you immediately. In the not too distant future. <laughs> I will They're simply gone. destroy you in Should one, we go after in one them? hit. Uh, let's skip it for now. I don't know anything about this Magic the Gathering game he was talking about. <laughs> Scar's resonance abilities appear to involve teleportation and the manipulation of space. He trapped me in confinement, and I could only sense that it wasn't far from here. I need to stop making Magic the Gathering jokes whenever Scar is involved. That's that's going to be so funny. Like, three episodes later, he's going to reappear, and I'm just going to bring back the bit. It's going to be so funny. <laughs> it's going to be it so good. It took me some time to break that barrier. Sorry, Rover. If only I could have reached you sooner. I mean, it wasn't really a problem. He wasn't really doing anything to me. He monologued at me, and then I beat him in a fight. That's all. <laughs> no need to worry. You're safe now. And that, you're safe now, and that's all I care. Brother. Brother. Hmm. Why are you here, little one? Probably hit out of fear. I've never seen any tacit discord display such vivid emotions. Hmm. The brother had mentioned. Could it be... Scar? 
Yes. Yeah, I I predicted that. that. I was like, your next line is. Scar had been here before. Yeah, though. Frames? Dropping frames? I see that we're dropping frames. I love that. That's fun. I love Let's that a lot. Let's talk about it later. That's incredible. Rover. Point can you one percent. On that's still happened? annoying. Uh, Scar appeared, started monologuing at me, beat me in a fight, made some brain rot jokes about sigmas and betas and alphas and something like that, started talking about Magic the Gathering, and that's pretty much all that happened. <laughs> it seems all the tragedies in Tea Tree Village were linked to that ritual. Mm hmm. And Scar was feeding me bits of info. Making up stories based on real life to support his twisted beliefs? That does sound like something he might do. Hmm. We cannot take his words for granted. Now, we must locate where the ritual took place and see for ourselves. It's probably a good idea. Let's see. One singular hmm. snowflake, huh? What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing happened. Two distinct <laughs> frequencies of tacit discords. Nothing I happened. See. Like I'm Zoro from One Piece. The streams. Over there. Over there? Me. What was behind us In then? The south. What? Why is it snowing over there specifically? Sun, huh? They are unharmed. Please rest assured. As you anticipated, Scar did not try to kill them. Yes, I stayed out of it like you asked. Hmm. Is everything all right on your end? Please be sure to stay safe, my lady. Okay. All right. For a second, I I, I forgot Rover, what was up with Sanhua's eyes. Do you still have the plaque we found earlier? The one broken in half. Yes. yes. As I thought. I just felt a similar vibration from that direction. Please follow me. Why do I always look directly upwards when, like, when the lag stops? It's weird. Why, why is my mouse moving? I'm, I'm not moving my mouse when the lag starts. So why does it s somehow start? Why did that have a, th a thing? Huh. Okay. Uh... U3, weapon. Ooh, that's a cool looking weapon. Uh, okay, so Sanhua's a, uh, not Sanhua. Uh, Yinlin's a catalyst user. Is that Electro? Hmm. I'll do some rolling later on. For now, convene. Go. Come on. There we go. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, stuff. And, uh, things. Yep. And then... Boom. Yes. Oh, Yinlin's worth pulling for? Alright then. Uh, in that case... I'm sorry, did that say mid-air dodge? So I can air dash, huh? Okay, then. That's good to know. Uh, where are we? Store. What's this way? Backpack. What's in the backpack? Trophies. Uh, store. There we are. Not points shop. Not that. Not this. These things. Here we are. We're going to do a little bit of gotcha rolling real quick. Title exchange. You. Here. Uh, four. That gives me five. Oscillating coral. Um, this is oscillating coral, right? Oscillated coral. Okay, nothing for the time being. Premium tuner, what is that? Okay. Uh, we have five, we'll save up. Hang on, right? Five? Five, yeah. We'll save up. All right, what have we got? Wrong button. It's the missing half. We can piece them together now. All right, perfect. Wooden plaque, right. 
Restored wooden plaque. Mm, complete the mechanism with the wooden plaque. Okay. Good, that still fall damage cancels, just like in Genshin. Okay. So every other character. Rider kick. Yeah. Kick. Pound. And this man slaps the ground. Why? Why? Why are you like this, Rover? What? Why is my computer doing this? Now of all times, why? Please, Mr. Computer. Please. Work with me here, computer. Come on. We're dropping frames left and right here. Work with me here. Come on. Please. Please. Computer. Please. There we go. Finally back. No? No, we aren't. Yes? We're back. 3 5 2 9. 1002. Yeah, I, I know I figured that out in the first episode. I just forget every single time until I see it again. That this man just slaps the ground. Alright, let's go. Let's just continue. You place the wooden plaque here flowing water. Yippee. Look, the water is going down. Mm hmm. PC. Computer, please stop dropping frames. Keep that kilobytes per second high. Please, computer. Please, work with me here. Work with me here. Why is my bitrate so low? Why? I can't believe it. I can't believe... Ooh, hello there. Propulsion flux. Okay, wind. I can't believe it. There is such a big opening down. Mm hmm. Okay, so we've got a boss fight to attend to here. That tree. It's stunning. It's almost eerily enchanting. Mm. It is quite beautiful. Please save us. Are you trying to tell us about something hidden here? Hmm. Ooh, we got statues over here. Magically petrified statues. That's a good sign. Where did it go? That's oh, the game. Is that a June nineteenth. Today a strange man came to our village. He said I can call him my brother if I uh, if I don't mind. He was really friendly, but for some reason he felt different from the people in my village. He seemed to know a lot about me, and, and he even said we were of the same kind. He told me a really strange fairy tale. The ending of the fairy tale was, was kind of scary, but reality was even scarier, he said. He then asked, what would you do if you were the little black lamb? Before I could think of a reply, he had already left with a cryptic, see you next time. I told father about it, but he said no one like that had ever visited our village. Who could he be? Sorry. I'm so sorry, smudged water stains. If only I weren't so weak, I could have driven away those tacit discords. If Cece didn't have to protect me, there must be a way. Father said I can manipulate the frequencies of tacit discords and humans. Cece, I'm so sorry you look like this now. It's only temporary. I'll do everything I can to return you to what you were before. I know you can still hear me. Father promised me he'll surely find a way to help. It's been three months since that incident. Father doesn't seem to remember I'm still keeping a diary. He gave the notebook to me, but if he found out I'd been writing about everything, he'd be so mad. He orders me to do what he says and use my powers to recombine frequencies of tacit discords. But if anyone finds out about the truth, that Cece, who went missing, actually died protecting me, and I turned her into a horrifying tacit discord, they will see me as a monster. I will be banished, and no one will ever understand or accept me with what I can do. No one, except him. But will the dead really come back through frequency manipulation? And if so, what would happen to their shattered souls trapped inside their new bodies? I really don't know. 
Every day, I feel more and more uneasy. The people in the village are disappearing, and those tacit discords father has brought back. I can't shake the feeling that something is very wrong, but I am trapped, like a moth to a flame, unable to escape this dark path. I don't know what my father did. It must have been something terrible for the tension and unease here. I'm not allowed outside anymore, and when I ask why, he just brushes it off. If this is the price for if the price for my wish to come true is more bloodshed, I no date. The villagers have surrounded our house. They must have learned about it all. The murderer. Is that what they call me now? Or perhaps my father, too? At this point, what difference does it make? After all that has happened, can someone come and save me? If I must pay the price for Chichi Village. If there is a god, I hope they can save my village. At the end of the last diary entry, you see a message in another handwriting. It seems you are the luckier one. Is that Scar coming back? Huh. Well, that's the rest of the diary. A diary. Buried under the peach blossom tree. Why is it still lagging? Everything is, is lagging right now. Everything is lagging right now. Uh, we're gonna finish this arc, are we? No, we're not. My bitrate does not want to cooperate with me, therefore I'm going to end the stream now. Uh, because I have dropped thousands of frames, it is at 7.3% of the entire stream. So, because of that, I'm going to end the stream here, so that I don't have to put you through, uh, put you viewers through any more of this bullshit. Stopping to relax once in a while serves for a stronger resin. Alright, we'll do that for, actually, no. We'll do this for now. Okay, we're gonna leave it at that. Because my bitrate is going to riot against me if I try to do anything else. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I uh, hope you had a good time watching the stream. I'll see you guys later. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try streaming a lot more in the next couple of days, just because I want to try seeing what happens if I stream, like, a lot a week. I want to try that out. We'll see. We'll just see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I had a really good time, and I will see you guys next time. Adios. I don't know how much of this you're actually hearing. Uh, for the YouTube crowd, if you made it this far, congratulations on suffering through the, uh, the lag and all of that stuff, and, uh, well... Yeah, all of that stuff.